Hey guys, welcome to LA Love Creative, and today we're talking about the new Canon C300 Mark III that just was released and how it compares to the Sony FX9. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this hat, it's because my hair looks crazy and I'm in isolation and I'm a homeless person. Now recently I had a chance to review the Sony FX9. I think it's a very capable and amazing camera. The image quality is amazing. A lot of the functions and the functionalities on that camera I think are top notch. However, Canon just dropped the C300 Mark III at $11,000 price point. So these two cameras are very comparable to each other right now. So let's talk about some of the specs of the Canon C300 Mark III compared to the Sony FX9. Straight from the get go, the Canon C300 is not a full frame camera. It is a super 35 millimeter. It maxes out at 4K compared to the Sony FX9, which is full frame and maxes out at 4K. The Sony has the leg up when it comes to image quality in the sense that it is a 6K sensor downscaling to 4K. The Canon C300, even though this is a new 4K sensor for the Canon C300 Mark III, however, it's not downscaling from like their 5.9K or something like that. It's just native 4K. One of the cool things about the Canon C300 Mark III is it has 16 stops of dynamic range Compared to the Sony 15 stops, I'm pretty sure on paper that sounds good, but they're probably very similar when it comes to dynamic range. However, that's an amazing amount of dynamic range for a cinema camera. Another cool feature that the Sony FX9 has over the Canon C300 Mark III is the dual ISO. I think the Canon C300 Mark III is probably gonna do really good in low light. Not as good as obviously the dual ISO on the Sony, but only time will tell when we get our hands on the camera. The Canon C300 has the awesome raw light from the Canon C200, the Canon C500 Mark II. One thing I really like about the Canon C300 Mark III is it's got more codecs. The C200 was very limited in their codecs and it was, it was like raw or 8-bit and no one wanted that. But the C300 Mark III has all different types of codecs. Um, 422, 10-bit, intra, whatever, intra, whatever, whatever. Who cares? They're awesome. Another thing I love about the Canon C300 Mark III has in-body stabilization. Also, the Sony has some software that you can stabilize the image, but I like the fact that the Canon has it in the camera. Less steps, less processing, let's go. If you hear snoring in the video right now, my fiance's dog is actually underneath the desk right here. One of the biggest features that I love about the Canon cameras when it comes to autofocus is they have touchscreen interfaces. The Sony FX9 has the little squeal, little scrolly wheel thingy. It's annoying and I know a lot of people are not going to want to use that. When it comes to ND filters, once you have ND filters in your cinema camera, it's hard to go back. The Sony FX9 has a variable ND filter and it's amazing. I think honestly, every camera should have a variable ND filter. However, the Canon cameras are known to have really good ND filters as well. So it's just a matter of, do you want a variable ND in the Sony FX9, or do you want a regular set ND on the Canon camera? Both these cameras are capable when it comes to slow motion. The Sony FX9 has 4K 60p and 120 frames 4K coming soon. However, you don't have autofocus when you use those settings. The Canon C300 Mark III has regular autofocus, not dual pixel autofocus, at 120 frames per second at 4K. It does 120 frames per second at 4K and 180 at like 2K. Having autofocus in your slow motion is a big win in my opinion. Now prices when it comes to the other cinema EOS cameras are going to drop. The Canon C300 Mark II when it first came out was $16,000. It's now selling for $8,000. The Canon C200 was I think 7,500 when it came out. Now it sells for about 5,000, give or take. That's a, if you calculate the savings on that, that's a lot. That's like, that equals. Money. Whatever, that's, that's a good amount of money you saving right now. Now, which camera should you consider? Now, I personally have shot with the Sony FX9. There's things that I'm not a big fan of. I don't like the fact that the form factor is kind of awkward, even on your shoulder. Um, I'm not a big fan of the menu system on the Sony. 
Also, Sony just requires a little bit more work when it comes to post. I still feel like the skin tones are not as good as straight out the camera when it comes to a Canon camera. And I just am loving the fact that Canon is actually now listening to their consumers and not really just limiting their cameras. So that's all I have to say about the Canon C300 Mark III. Let me know your questions about videography or photography below, and I will see you next time. See you later.